Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about the hidden or maybe forgotten secrets of the Cosby Show and why Bill Cosby managed with an iron fist and why Hollywood sought him out and, and also why Lisa agreed with the accusers. Let's talk. Bill Cosby was accused of some pretty nasty things. But what most people don't know is that most of it cannot be validated. But before I dive deep into that, I think most of you should know the character of Mr. Cosby. For example, Hollywood wanted him to move his show to Hollywood. Cosby refused. He didn't want to be involved with the Hollywood life and competition. He said the show was based in New York and it shall remain in New York especially after they killed his son and the many threats he had received. It got so bad with his competition, especially after he was named number one dad for many years and the show was ranking all of their shows. Whereas he told the Emmy and the rest of the award committees to remove him from the list after he had won an Emmy for ISPY in 1966. He didn't want to deal with the animosity and jealousy that came along with being the number one show and dad. Oh, yes. Oh, and there's more. Cosby took his character and the cast very seriously. Their image outside their characters on TV, he took seriously as well. As we all know, it does affect everyone. Although they were just acting as his kids, he thought of them as his real kids, which brings us to the beef he had with rebellious Lisa Okay, and please listen, Lisa and Cosby have always had a rocky relationship, but to understand Cosby's actions, you must understand Lisa. You see, Lisa Michelle was born on November 16, 1967 in San Francisco, California. She is the daughter of an opera singer and Jewish music teacher and is one of many half siblings. She attended acting school in Hollywood. Now, moving along here. After becoming the second oldest on The Cosby Show at the age of 18 years old and Lenny Kravitz at the age of 21 years old met backstage at a New Edition concert. They were friends immediately, allegedly. And later, while Vaughn was recording Different World, Kravitz moved in with her. Now keep in mind, never had any strict guidance and she kind of did what she wanted to do. Hence, shacking up with a boy at an early age and getting pregnant and later eloping in Las Vegas. Now think, she was doing all of this while still acting, but by this time, she was acting in a different world. But let's back up a little bit. <laughs> now think, Cosby orchestrated a spinoff with one of the leading stars being the start of high stardom for her. But while young and unattained and living on her own, and while dating young, horny Kravitz, decided to play in a movie named Angel Heart as a 17-year-old. Then just turned 18 years old, opposite of M Mickey Warwick, in a very explicit scene, may I add. Oh, I'm still not done yet. She later appeared topless in a center spread in Interview Magazine. Now think. Cosby thought about his daughter and was ready to make her a good, clean star and not be sexualized as many young girls had become in Hollywood. Oh, but remember, you can't tell hot-headed anything no one has most of her life, so why start now? However, meanwhile, later pregnant, Debbie Allen wanted to write getting pregnant into the storyline. You know, upper class kids having a baby, not married, because she didn't want to be married and the girls could root for her. Hey, yay, let's do this, Debbie thought. They both then went to Cosby, who thus far tried to be a role model father figure to the hothead to see if this storyline could happen. Well, you know what? Take a look. Well, you know, this was very interesting. Um, when I first took over the show, I um, one of the first things I did was meet with Lisa Monet. And I adored her from the Cosby show. I adored her. And... Um, she secreted to me that she was actually pregnant. She had married Lenny Kravitz. And, you know, I guess Bill had his feelings about that because he was possessive in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were his 
on camera wife and children but they still were his i mean the way he was with felicia too i mean that's a whole nother story um she told me she was pregnant so i said well listen we have to go tell him so i said honey put some shoes on don't come up there with barefoot let's get your best dress let's comb your hair and let's go see him and let's tell him together so we got dressed we went up there and oh he could see us coming he saw us a mile away coming he could see us coming and he sat there and looked at us and i said well we have some things that we want to tell you he said what is it are you pregnant and they were like, oh, my God. He said, well, what's so different about it? you? Got, he looked at me and said, you were pregnant. Your sister got pregnant. And so now what? And I said to him, I, I explained to him how I wanted to use it on the show. Because that would be a great thing to see a girl who's upper class kid having a baby, not married, because she didn't want to be married. And the girls could root for her. I, I was explaining all that we could do. Well, honey, that was just, I was blowing smoke and I didn't know it. So he listened to all of that. I got put in place as the new person in charge. We started talking about stories. And then immediately, maybe about two or three weeks later, he says, you know what, Debbie? No. Um, she's pregnant. Denise Huxtable is not pregnant. Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. So no, no, you can't have it. No, we're not going to do it. No. So he took her back. I was so mad at him. I wanted to take her, but I understood. He just wanted her back. Um, I thought it would have been great to see that storyline. But so she left us to go back home. And then she ended up getting married on the show over there. And, you know, whatever happened over there. So she left the show. And then I also had um, Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei was the only white character on the show. I was excited by that because I was looking at I was looking at it as the opposite from my own personal experience. I had been the only black kid in a ballet school. The only black kid, the only you know, da, da, da. So what must that be like? Because when I went to Howard University, we had one white student, talented. And that would be very interesting. I had pitched an, I had even pitched the idea of Dwayne Wayne taking her home for Thanksgiving dinner and her mother being furious that there's a white girl in the house. Ooh, you know, let's just see the other, the, you know, the other side of racism because it does go both ways. Let's be clear, it does go both ways. But we didn't get to do that. So you see, this was the beginning of a very rocky relationship between rebellious I do what I want because as you heard not only did Cosby pull her off different world he brought her back to the Cosby show because having all this freedom wasn't good for the rebellious you see it worked for a moment but later it went sour and was later fired because she was frequently late on set and had a bad attitude and wanted to do what she wanted to do and always argue with everyone However, people didn't understand some of Cosby's actions, but later they did. For example, Felicia Rashad became pregnant and there was friction between Cosby and her. He still worked around her pregnancy, as you may have heard, but Rashad being married and now pregnant and later while nursing and so on was affecting her acting. And that's normal, but not tolerated for long. So while on set, Cosby called her out a few times. Rashad took it as constructive criticism as the rest of the cast had done at some point. And she and they tried to improve and did. That benefited her and them financially for a long time. Well, until these sexual allegations started going viral and forced all of them to go back to work. You see, she had two shows. Hey, she was being treated and used better and more than all of them. But she was being hot-headed and later spoken ill about Cosby to anyone who asked without telling the entire story by ways of making herself the victim despite her having two roles, one in a different world and another on the Cosby show. She was set. It was reported that Cosby tried to reason, even worked in her husband for her on the show so that the storyline of her TV husband getting pregnant, running off, and getting married 
without anyone being the wiser, not even her non-existent parents, it seems, those reactions on the show, on season six, episode one, were real. But later caught him controlling and was reported saying, I don't need to say, I told you so. She said regarding Cosby. And then she went on to say, I just leave it all that to karma and justice and what will be. What karma? More like complying and trying to make you a freaking star and you want to do what you wanted to do than getting fired and now still bitter to the man that gave you a start. Oh, and the beef with ungrateful Adam Sandler and Chris Rock? <laughs> Whom Cosby gave Sandler his first acting appearance as he blatantly admitted several times and set him up for life. Great recommendations and all. Meanwhile, Chris Rock got fired for being the replaced warm-up guy because he didn't like his routine. It was reported that Rock was very judgmental and cursed and often was making blacks look bad. It didn't go along with the image that Cosby was trying to portray and change of us. Hence why Eddie Murphy and he don't get along. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get notifications for when I post more videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.